Okay, what I've got set up here is I've got a setup where I'm going to try to make a, uh, let's pretend that I'm making a tenon. Now I've gone ahead and used my hand saw to remove the bulk of the material here, and then I'm going to use my router plane to remove the rest of it, okay? Now I'm trying to create, because my material here is uh, three quarters of an inch, I'm going to try to make a three eighths, it might be a little bit too thick, but I'm going to make a three eighths tenon. Let's pretend I'm going to do that, okay? And um, I want to flatten my tenon here on this side so I've got a good reference and I've got I know that this this is the surface is flat okay and if everything should do it right I shouldn't have any real major blowout back here and it's quite possible that I will but um, I've already created lines so that I can uh, uh, so that I can and use those as a reference so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loosen my knob here and I'm going to plain iron down. Okay. Now I'm going to start from the outside. Now I'm only doing this because this is what I have observed. I have I've, I've watched um, other. Okay, so I'm not hitting anything right there. Okay, so I know that I'm a little bit too high. All right. So let's adjust it. And now let's see what happens here. I'm just starting to catch that coin. Um, right, so let's just adjust it a little bit more. And I can just micro adjust it here with my persuasion device. see that it's just taken just ever so slightly taken okay, so we'll just you just keep adjusting it And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating kind of, I guess, I guess the, the object is to create, the objective is to create kind of a slicing motion like this with your plane iron. And then you just work it right on down. And at some point, it should reveal my knife line. So, I'm putting most of my pressure down on this side here. Okay, trying to hold it against the flat against the reference surface. Okay, so I'm just now seeing my knife line. So when I get down to my, li my knife line, I know I know that I'm good. Make this inside edge a little bit. Again, I'm just trying to make sure I keep pressure down on this side because that's my reference side. So it's not doing too bad. I'm almost at my reference line there, my knife line. A little bit more persuasion. Uh, 
turn around a little bit and come back and see and I can now I can see my my knife line clearly I mean I can see right where right where my my knife line is I mean I'm, I'm cutting probably splitting it right in half okay so I know that I know that once I've reached this point, I have reached the point in which I stop. I don't want to go any further than that because now my knife line is exposed. I can clearly see it. And I don't want to go any further than that. I don't want to go beyond that. Okay. So I'll clean up this. Just making this pass. And I won't need to go any further on this side. I'd flip it over. Once I get this done, I do, this, uh, do the same thing, you know, on the opposite side. I would already have my shoulder cut and have the bulk of the cheek material removed. And then I would just start this process over again, just working right down to the knife line. And not beyond that point. Okay. And that is the first tenon joint I have ever cut like that. Of course, I didn't have the router plane before, but at any rate, it didn't work out too bad. I was quite in really pleased with the, the way it looks so the cutter cut pretty good small amount of cleanup to do but nothing real major and so that's how to create a more accurate tenon with the router plane thanks for watching